Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Jacinda Explorers. We're back at it today. We're gonna be heading to a spot in Mammoth Cave. Um, I think it's about a five to six hour float. I can't remember. We've gone on it before, but we're gonna take our new kayaks and uh, get out on the water. It's about, it's gonna be 90 degrees today. Mm -hmm. So uh, we might have to take a splash in the water too. Oh yeah, swimming. If we sure. don't flip, like last time. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we're guys, be... if y'all haven't seen our last trip, we're gonna link it right here in the description box below. We did not get us flipping, but we flipped the whole time. So, um, but yeah, so we're headed to a spot that's a put-in spot called Denison Ferry. Yeah. And then you take out at Houchins Ferry. Um, We've did this trip once before, but we wasn't filming yet, so. So we'll show y'all the spots and along the way. It's a pretty right. fun trip. All right, guys. We'll see you all in the water. Guys, we've got me, Bailey, Brian's almost in. We're waiting on Corey. We are struggling. It is packed here today. There's probably at least a hundred people with different outfitters that are putting in. So update you here in a minute. Guys, we've made it on the water. We are at Mammoth Cave. Now, people come from here all over, all over the world. We're we're pretty local here. We're about an hour from here. Uh, so many tourists, and I mean, they're all nice people, but the put-in spot to uh, this today was an absolute nightmare. I don't recommend anybody coming here during peak season. Um, there's a was, lot of outfitters and shuttle services and rentals. There yeah, was probably put people in 40 people in front of us, and we're all just taking one by one to try to get in the water. Yeah, and they're putting it, they're putting each person in, and they're reading them like a bunch of rules and stuff. And it's just, I don't know, I was losing my patience this morning for sure. Yeah, we're here taking a little break. So that now. Look at little Otis over there. Oh, look at Otis. Got a life jacket on. The 
the good thing about this trip is there's a ton of spots to stop like i don't like trips where there's not a lot of islands to stop at but this the one good thing about this trip is once you're on the water it's awesome and there's a ton of spots to stop like i said i'm just not a fan of the put out spot and i have a bad feeling the takeout spots gonna be just as crowded and unorganized and goofy what up oldest